Can you look into the future? See and beyond what's possible to what has never been. 20 years ago, CHAM was founded to give children better futures. In breakthrough after breakthrough, we are realizing that goal. Twins, conjoined at the head, brains are intertwined, and the whole world is watching. Courage beat the odds. And now my boys are going to school. It's what I always envisioned them doing. We diagnosed the Ewing sarcoma that other hospitals couldn't see. Kiara didn't just need a doctor, she needed an entire team. Surgery would have been the easier route, but wouldn't have led Kiara back to the stage. A cutting edge bone marrow transplant technique that doesn't require a complete match was the best life-saving option for Jose. I was able to go for the future I wanted. They were my heroes. At 15, we were told that Joey may never walk again. But now, he not only plays basketball, but he's our Olympian. Yes, I am. A periacetabular osteotomy is a very complex procedure and not performed by many. But at CHAM, we treat and consider every individual. And when that individual's goal is to compete, we are all going for the gold. Think about the delicacy of an eight-month-old baby. Then imagine the complexities of transplanting a liver and now put these two ideas together. It's fragile, it's complex, and little Adriana couldn't wait. A lot of the work that I do in genetics is focused on diversity, ensuring that everybody has equal access to the promises of genomic medicine. Genomic medicine is the future. So we took the information we had learned from the new herpes simplex virus vaccine that we are developing to protect children and newborns from herpes viruses and use that knowledge to start to understand why is it that children do so much better with COVID-19 than adults? What's different about their immune response? It takes a whole village to fight kidney disease. I'm proof of that. It was one of the first programs in the country to have a pediatric kidney transplant, uh, the largest dialysis facility in New York State, and led a number of studies funded by the National Institutes of Health. Having CHAM next to us in the fight against lead poisoning made us that much stronger. These impacts were not limited to our clinic. They were usable uh, across the city, the state, country, and the world. What does our future hold? What does our future hold? We like to say, future perfect. It is at the soul of CHAM. It is at the heart of our commitment to create the perfect future for every child. Future perfect is an affirmation, not just that we will achieve our goals, but that we will hold ourselves accountable and that we will look into the future and set our sights firmly on a fixed point in time. CHAM opened its doors 20 years ago, coalescing all pediatric care under the umbrella of Montefiore and the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. I wanted the hospital experience to be absolutely something very, very special, designed with an eye on the future. These are children that did not see a world much past the present, and I wanted to give them a sense of the world in the future that could be available to them. In just two decades, we have programs that are nationally ranked and internationally known. There are kids that come from around the globe and kids that come from around the corner. Only we at CHIM have the experience and the expertise to take on a case as complex as the McDonald twins. It was very unique what we used in terms of the technology to make that case happen. But that technology we use every day, the 3D printing, the ability to plan an operation first on the computer before ever getting to the operating room, that is something we provide to all of our patients at CHAM. We are at the forefront of using Mars liver support system as a life-saving therapy for children in liver failure. 
When Diego got to CHAMP, he was demonstrating all of the signs of severe liver dysfunction. They were courageous enough to be the first family, and Diego was the first patient to be on this machine uh, that really saved his life without a need for transplant. To know that I was the first child to be put on the Mars machine in the Northeast is pretty neat. Sickle cell disease is the most common single gene disorder in children in the United States. It disproportionately affects children of color. My son was born with sickle cell disease. He wasn't able to run, to play with like other kids. It gave us the opportunity to actually see him running around, have, having so much energy, a little bit too much energy <laughs> at times. And moving forward, we know that he's capable of trying to accomplish anything he wants to accomplish. I was born with sickle cell anemia. It wasn't an easy journey, but with Montefiore, it was a lot more bearable. We can safely do bone marrow transplants with what we call alternative donors, regardless of the patient's diagnosis. And this allows us to offer bone marrow transplantation to literally any child who walks into the doors at CHAMP. My is a precious young lady, and she presented to the hospital with a highly, highly aggressive form of Wilms tumor where it had a propensity to want to grow very rapidly and also spread, and it spread to her lungs. No mother wants to hear their child was diagnosed with cancer because she didn't think that I was going to make it. She broke down, and then Dr. Weiser was like, I'm going to take care of her daughter, and did he lie? She persevered with a spirit and a resilience that was really unmatched. As we celebrate CHAMP's past achievements, we step forward in the future perfect what we will accomplish over the coming decades to create a perfect future for every child we serve. Things get so exciting when you're sitting with somebody from neuroscience or oncology and talking about ways to combine genetics and neuroscience or genetics and, and oncology. In the future, you know, we're going to be able to treat more liver disease with less surgery, creating um, cells that we can use to transplant into recipients that would function as a liver without having to do the surgery. Possibly one day at Einstein, we will be able to grow organs from our own cells. I see us as a place where we can continue to grow on the fact that we are a specialty referral center, particularly for children requiring organ transplantation throughout the region and throughout the entire world. We're in an exciting moment in the field of neonatology and at CHAM, from saving babies' brains to saving their bellies to creating new incubators that will mimic the womb. Child life, social workers are all involved in the management and the treatment of a child, including the family in the team. And that's very important in a children's hospital. And that's something which is unique at Montefiore. Having a child life specialist and a creative arts therapist available in every inpatient and outpatient area. We are at the cusp of being able to better understand unique drivers of cancer. There is no other major academic medical center that's as well positioned as we are. The ability to treat so many different disorders with really fascinating and novel genetic therapies is coming, and it's coming pretty quickly. I really hope that one day I get to hear that they have a cure for some of the types of cancers that people have to go through every day. What we see in childhood really are the antecedents of adult disease. So what we can prevent and take care of while they're growing will prevent adult disease. I felt it from the very first moment I walked in the doors. There's something really unique about walking into the entrance of CHAMP. There's this sense of community. It's not a job for these, it's, it's like your family who's trying to take care of you in the moment. I wish they would extend the age so I can stay with them forever. <laughs> Chamily is very real. Chamily. 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 <laughs> you can't ask for anything more than that, you know? Family is everything to us at CHAM. Every child who comes through our doors is our child. Each leaves a lasting mark on our hearts. And doing everything in our power for them undergirds every commitment, from the great to the small as we push the boundaries of medical care and science. Collaboration across disciplines, innovation at every level, and the foundation of compassion is what fuels the kind of groundbreaking science and advancements in care and profound improvements in public health 
that you see every day at CHAM. We are a family that is driven to do more, to go further, reach higher, never satisfied with yesterday's accolades or tomorrow's achievements. And always with an eye to the future, CHAM is a life-saving launch pad, lifting every child toward their own perfect future. So what does our future hold? 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 Together. 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 At the Children's Hospital at Montefiore. What we call CHAM. We will have future perfect.